Hey guys, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to subscribe here at Fino Boxing, like this video, and leave your comments down below. And follow us at all our social media platforms at Fino Boxing, and my personal one is at Adriana underscore sports. Hey guys, here with British boxing star, Joe Joyce. Joe, it's great to see you, even if it's virtually um, going through some difficult times. Uh, how are you dealing with the current situation that we're at? Well, I'm, I'm dealing with it as best I can be. Uh, I was obviously in Vegas in a training camp and uh, getting ready for a very big fight with Daniel Tabor. And, you know, preparations were going really well and um, I was doing like 12 rounds sparring and, you know, things were looking really good. And then uh, I noticed when we went for food, we went to somewhere where it would like normally be busy, but then there's like less people. And then we found out that the, there'd be no more flights from the Tuesday. So we had to quickly uh, book a flight and we managed to come back on the Sunday and uh, avoid the, uh, you know, the lockdown and, you know, no more flights. So managed to get out of, out of the country. Yeah, well, I'm glad you were able to, you know, get back home. Things have definitely, uh, they, they changed rather quickly. And we're living at a, in a time that it's, it's very different and uncertain for us. Of course, you had your fight set for uh, April 11th against Danny Dubois. And that was canceled along with so many cards. Um, but now your fight is tentatively set for July 11th. Do you believe that that bout will, in fact, take place, you know, even with the COVID-19 still going on? Um, I would hope so. I'd hope so. Um, but I think that um, this fight is such a big fight. It needs to have a crowd. That would be a bit of a shame to do things like behind closed doors. And it probably wouldn't have the same atmosphere. So uh, maybe if, because the fight's been postponed to July 11th, but then I still think there won't be any, um, there won't be any crowds allowed yet for sporting events, so it might have to be pushed back again. But hopefully in the meantime, hopefully I can get a, a fight or a couple of fights before that, before the big one, um, maybe in quarantine. Right. Now, when you mention about fights happening with no fans, that's the reality that we're facing for the first perhaps couple months that fights will have no, no fans, no crowd. Um, this is a definitely a big fight that, you know, you mentioned you, you would love to have the crowds, um, but you're open to fighting with no fans, perhaps with other fights, just to get boxing back, just to get back inside the ring. Yeah, because there's, there's not been any sport. So, you know, it'd be great to like put on a show and give the boxing fans something to watch. Absolutely. We, we, we need our boxing back. So <laughs> we need fighters definitely. to get back in there. Um, well, we, we, uh, we're excited to see this fight. Hopefully, you know, it, it happens sometime soon, safely, of course. Um, we know that you guys had an intense press conference. So how eager, just from that, what occurred there, how eager are you to get in there and defeat him? Um, well, at the time, I was very eager. And like now, I don't know when it's happening. So it's, but I'm still, want, I still want the fight. It's such a big fight. and. You know, I don't. I I saw some talks about um, Dubois potentially fighting um, Wilder, but I I don't know. I don't know what 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 if he's trying. If they're trying to overlook me, or they they're trying to arrange a different fight. But um, I it, you know the Dubois fight was like the biggest fight there, and I, I'm sure like all the everyone wanted everyone wants to see the fight. So I'm just looking forward to when it can actually happen with, uh, with an audience. Yeah. So ho hopefully, hopefully it does happen. We got to see, like you mentioned, uh, a little bit of uh, some action in that press conference, but what, oh, once, yeah. but once fight night comes, uh, what kind of fight are you expecting? It's going to be explosive fight. It's going to be an all action, uh, toe to toe, tash to tash, uh, moto e moto, um, I don't know, what would you call it? <laughs> La Lapa Lassa? What, what, you know when it's like, what, you know when people are just exchanging punches? I don't know what it's called. Yeah, it's just like a, a, an all-out brawl of all uh, a phone booth uh, fight. <laughs> yeah, yeah. All right, nice. <laughs> Maybe I'll beat him with a receiver. 
looking forward looking forward to that fight um we've obviously seen a, a rise in the heavyweight division do you believe that a victory over dubois would uh uh give, give you a, a shot to face fury or or i'm, so, I'm sorry fury or joshua yeah it would definitely like catapult me because he's um he's been built very well uh, with frank warren and uh, queensbury promotions and um, it's like it will just it will be the deciding a decider who who will be number one for that for that um, platform, and from there, then it it puts puts whoever win the winner directly in line for a title shot. So it's a very um, it will be a very luc- lucrative from then on. And plus, uh, there are I think there were six belts on the line or something, six or seven belts. Six. Oh, okay. so you, you're counting? Uh, well, I, I usually just count four, but I know some other people count. Uh, no, I mean not. I'm, I'm not world title belts. I'm oh. saying for the Daniel Debar fight. I think. Oh, there was, okay. There was the British title, the Commonwealth, the European. I think it was like WB, WBC. Silver. Okay. W. I don't know. W. A. Silver. I don't remember. <laughs> you remember. But yeah, there was a lot of belts. So. <laughs> There's a lot of belts in there. <laughs> yeah. There's definitely a lot of belts uh, w- on w- the line. W. O. Something. Some other W. O. Belt. <laughs> but yeah. 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 A lot. A lot. A lot at stake there. That, like you mentioned, it could catapult you into. Um, a, a fight with uh, either champ in uh, in Tyson Fury or Anthony Joshua. Do you have a preference um, between to face between those two champs? Well, um, e- either of them would be would be good. Uh, obviously, with AJ, there's more belts to win. There's four belts opposed to two yeah. because the lineal. Yeah, uh, I mean, I usually just count the four major orgs. So I would, so the way I count them, Anthony Joshua has three, and um, Tyson Fury has the WBC. Yeah. yeah. Either way, you know. Uh, yeah, I'm, I can't wait to see that fight if that happens. <laughs> you want to see that that UK undisputed fight between Fury yeah, and, and then Joshua? Yeah, fight the winner. And fight the winner, <laughs> or, the, or the loser, <laughs> then the winner. I don't know. <laughs> who, who do you think? Who do you think would win uh, between between them two, between Fury and Joshua? Uh, I don't actually know. Some, I think it'll be a, it'll be a fifty fifty fight, and uh, I don't know. It's, it's it's a tough one because oh man, it's like Fury, um, Fury showed a different side against Wilder. And then Joshua also showed a different side against the Ruiz second fight. So yeah. it, it's going to be an interesting fight. <laughs> I, I don't know. I, I, can't, I can't pick right now. You make, a, you make a, a valid point where both of them were able to um, adjust to a different style that I kind of not really expected um, in, in both the rematches. Even uh, Tyson Fury we saw him come out and just brawl it out and he told us during fight week that he was going to do that and he kept predicting a second round knockout he almost had that, like, that yeah yes yeah. so he's like <laughs> yeah i'm gonna knock him out in the second round i'm like yeah, yeah. yeah all right all right right, right everyone right, just right, kind so. of brushed him off <laughs> yeah but then everyone. he actually did and then i was just like oh man he just like punched him up <laughs> yeah yeah How's the win? yeah i mean we were all shocked how were you surprised that he actually did pretty much what he was t- saying all along yeah I, I was like speechless i was like <laughs> he just came there and just demolished him and then uh, i don't know and then that was it and then yeah. like, w- like walked off with the belt with the wbc i was like right. damn and so, how's a- go ahead go ahead so I, I think if he was to fight joshua i don't know if he'd do the same tactic i think that would be because a bit dangerous because I think Joshua is quite good, um, you know, close range and he can he can put the punches together. So maybe he'd box him like more in the back foot like he fought Wilder the first time. Mm-hmm. I, I don't know, but yeah. be interesting what uh, what each what each other's tactics would be. 
It is. That's, going in. It would be. Yeah, we, we need we need to we need to see that so we can have our our answers um, on on how each would play it out. But going back to the Fury Wilder too. Um, so you were surprised, obviously, of how Fury came out strong and was able to dominate them. But what about how surprised were you that Wilder was dominated the way he was? Um, actually, I, I don't know. Actually, thinking about it, I'm not that surprised because I guess like a lot of his fights, is he like against Ortiz? Mm-hmm. Ortiz was beating him for like seven rounds. He was yeah. comfortably winning, and then yeah. he just got pow out of nowhere, <laughs> and then he's like flattened and out of the fight. So it can just it can just it can, Wilder has that power to just like check, turn the fight around instantly with one punch. So yeah, he's always got the he's always got a puncher's chance. Yeah, a lot of people were saying that we kind of got a uh, a preview of that in the Ortiz 2 fight where uh, Manny saw Ortiz winning and then, uh, or even on the cards, and then um, Wilder just oh, yeah. took over with that punch. <laughs> yeah. Do you think that, um, obviously the fight against Fury, the second one, was stopped and some were arguing that it should have kept going because he has that right hand that could have potentially ended things differently do you think it was to stop the correct time or if we should have given him more yeah, time yeah I, I thought it stopped the correct time because I, I don't think he had a chance of winning um he was just getting bashed up for like and it's just you know, start started to get like dangerous like so um i'm not sure if i want to if i want to see the rematch because i i thought i thought he won the first time mm-hmm. okay i thought he outpointed him but then obviously got got dropped in the last round and then but picked himself up and carried on fighting. So you thought that Fury won the first time? Yeah. Okay. Okay. On point. Uh-huh. But I don't know. Like if they were to have a third one, maybe it'd be the same thing again. Mm-hmm. Is it I mean, unless Wilder just came out with some mad shot and just knocked him completely out and then Fury couldn't get up again. Yeah. Well. I guess, uh, and it, and then he won't have the excuse for the um, you know the heavy um, the heavy costume. <laughs> what did you make of that when you heard that? <laughs> well, I mean, it was quite a long walk into the stadium, but like, if he's, I think he said in another interview that he had uh, he, he trained with a weight vest, but yeah, I guess like walking to the ring with it, it can like see when you like lose fights or don't perform how you how you know you should, then you think about every little thing, every little piece of the puzzle, which, you know, could have potentially been the cause. You can't quite you try and look for an excuse. I know even if I, even if I win a fight sometimes and I made lots of mistakes, I'm thinking like, oh, I could have done better with this or I could have done better with that. So it's um, like, you want to get everything right as like within your power. So maybe he, and deserves a rematch to uh, to prove himself. Yeah. Would you be interested in, in, in getting a crack at Deontay Wilder, even if he is not a world champion? Um, yeah, it's, da- it's very dangerous, but um, <laughs> if, if, it's, uh, if it makes sense, then yeah, I'll, I'll fight him. Why not? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, another potential uh, opponent that you've actually faced in the amateurs uh, is uh, Yuzik. Now, now that he's uh, up in the heavyweight division, uh, would you entertain the possibility of fighting the Ukrainian if the if if the, opp- if the opportunity presented itself? Yeah, I'll do. I'll do a rematch, especially if it is for like a version of a world title or something like that. That'd be uh, interesting, and uh, obviously it makes sense. This boxing's a business, and I'll fight anybody. Yeah. What do you make uh, of? Uh, a lot of people say that he is uh, a bit smaller for the division that, that we currently yeah. have right now. What do you make of his, uh, I guess, his size, but his abilities in general in the heavyweight division? Well, yeah. I, I mean, most of the heavyweights are like six, like six, um, two up or uh, like, in, okay, for instance, when I was in the Olympics, I was standing on the podium. We're all over six, six. Yeah. So it, it just says, it, it just, you know, people are getting bigger and big. Uh, heavyweights are getting bigger, and um, Usyk 
his skills though are like a next level. Like when I fought him, I was way too um, inexperienced to fight to fight him. He was so, so much more te- technical, and um, his speed, his head movement was a lot more polished. So it was really hard to land a shot on him. And in the WSB events, I saw him take on the the super heavyweights, you know, the, the guys at my weight, and just you know punch them up. I think. My fight with him was like the closest one, and uh, you know it's such an amazing event. Like there's so, so much support in uh, in York Hall that from the Ukraine. I was like, which country am I in again? They had like <laughs> drums and that. They were banging. <laughs> like, yeah, it's one hell of a fight. Yeah, yeah. But I think um, if I was to fight him again um, over twelve rounds, then I don't think he could keep me off for that for that many rounds. Because he, he's not knocking me out. I mean, he has put on more strength and power. He looks bigger, but he's also a bit slower. So it'll be a bit more easy to hit. Yeah. All and right. then also I've progressed in my professional career so I can, so I have more um, tools in my toolbox to yeah. take him on this time. All right. Well, if, I'm, if, I, if I'm going to fight him. You know? Yeah, yeah, right. <laughs> well, there's definitely lots of... Uh, um, opportunities in the heavyweight division one one last heavyweight i'd like to get your thoughts on are of andy reese we obviously saw him lose to joshua in that yeah. rematch in saudi arabia but now he's uh joined eddie reynoso uh what do you make of just where andy reese stands do you think he can you know come back and uh, what eddie reynoso do you think would add to him to come back up i think uh when he's like training properly and he's fit and he's you know, he's fighting fit and ready and, and at the weight, I think he'll perform better. I think he could even make um, Cruiserweight at a push, but um, he's got super fast hands and he's he's got that um, a Latin, a Latino, a La- Latin style. You know, he's got, um, I think he had a Cuban coach when he was amateur and he had so many fights and he's got that Mexican style as well, very fast hands. So he, um, obviously when Joshua troubled him, that he was like, okay, so you want to play like that? And that's when he like knocked him out. So he can be, he can be dangerous. Like even if you're, you're there on top throwing punches at him, he, he, he's quite calm under pressure and he can like hit you with some wicked fast counters and, you know, put he puts them shots together where very well. He's got good combinations. I think um, his footwork though isn't. I mean, he his positioning is good, but I think you see how Joshua stayed on the outside and was um, you know keep him at at range. Mm-hmm. That would be the way to beat him. So he needs to be fit so he can actually close the distance quicker and. Um, you know, get to work with them combinations. Yeah. So, I mean, he would be a hard fight. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't, because um, when I was in Big Bear with um, Abel Sanchez, I, I was training up there with him. Uh, I saw him spar, I was up there, and I saw him spar with Charles Martin, mm-hmm. but because of the altitude and his fitness, he was he was really struggling. He could only do like two or three rounds. So I saw him on the pads and that. I didn't really think that much of him, but I thought, but I was I was willing to spar, but he he didn't want to spar me up there. Okay. So then when he fought, uh, when it got, because um, I was interested in fighting Joshua for in America. So I, I've been boxing in America, so I, I was willing to fight because he's looking for an opponent. But obviously, he needed an American opponent, and I just thought it'd be because um, Joshua is so good. I just thought he would just easily just walk through him like he normally does, like get the knockout early and, you know, <laughs> just yeah. um, just to c- continue on. So it's a big shot when a- Andy Ruiz did the job and knocked him out. Like, <laughs> it, was, um, it was very surprising. I was like, it was, he, he, he seemed almost untouchable to that point. Yeah, yeah. He definitely shocked... Um the world that day yeah absolutely (laughs) (laughs) well we'll see uh how his uh how he comes back with his new trainer um a lot of people do say you know he he has some talent of course uh but uh, discipline 
is a is a is a key factor there. So we'll see. Yeah. But I mean, he's made his money. He's he's nice, isn't it? He's <laughs> had two fights now. Like he had that first fight, one one all that you know got the got all that money, and then you know sorted himself a house, he's chilling, <laughs> and then he had the rematch where he's and he like he must have thought, well, I'm gonna I'm gonna get the money anyway. So <laughs> maybe his like, dedication was a bit. Uh, was not quite there and then um I don't know he's he's nice now so I don't know if he it's 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 just there's a saying like um you know it's hard to get up at 5 a.m to do road work if you're wearing silk pajamas I forget mm-hmm. you said that yeah but, so, yeah, yeah yeah something like that yeah I mean it's uh it's interesting we'll see how he comes back We'll definitely see. Um, well, let me see. obviously, we've talked about so many potential fights um, that could happen, so many different things. And, and right now, we're obviously waiting for the tentative date of July 11th against Danny Dubois. Um, in the meantime, just really quickly, how are you, when you're not training, when you're not you know, doing anything boxing related, how are you keeping entertained at home? Uh, well, as people may know, I'm, I'm a bit of a gamer. I have my PC set up. It's, this is my laptop. This is what I take <laughs> on uh, on training camps. Uh, it's got a built-in camera, but behind it, I've got like two monitors. I've got my gaming PC, and uh, and I don't know. This is where stuff goes down. This is my gaming room. So I, <laughs> I, I play a lot of um, PC games now. Yeah. So I've been I've been doing that, but I'm I'm getting a bit bored of that now, and uh, <laughs> I've also got my uh, VR headset where I can do oh, like wow. VR games and stuff. Nice, so, um, nice. What are these? I'm not, I'm not too familiar with games, but what are some of these, uh, the name of the games that, that uh, your favorite ones that you like to play? Um, well, there's uh, Thrill of the Fight, which is like a boxing game. It's quite, re- it's really realistic. I think it was just made by one guy. And uh, there's a Beat Saber where you've got like these two lightsabers and you've got to like do it to the music. <laughs> and uh, there's a pistol whip and that's to the music as well you can either have one gun or two guns and you've got to like shoot these characters on the screen and yeah and stuff like that um the thing is you need space for it the, for these things like on the <laughs> way back i was doing that at the airport me and the me and my coach uh, one of yeah. my coaches and my manager and a sparring partner we brought a sparring partner johnny <laughs> we were doing it in the airport people were like what are these guys doing like <laughs> like, <laughs> like fighting around. At the airport in the middle of the airport <laughs> Oh wow, that's funny. Yeah, and I'm obviously training. I've been. Uh, I'm normally ac- active anyway. I do a lot of cycling. I was on my rollerblades the other day. I do. I do runs, and um, I've got you know kettlebells and a few like weights and stuff. So I do a bit of shadow boxing and and stuff like that. Just keep, keeping myself fit and healthy. Nice. Yeah. Well, definitely. Yeah. Just staying ready for uh, that tentative date, July 11th. We, we hope we get to see you in action really, really soon. Um, you know, Joe, thank you so much for taking the time to talk to us. Uh, really appreciate it. Uh, take care, stay safe. And like I mentioned, we look forward to seeing you back in the ring really, really soon. Okay, thank you. You too. Thank you. We'll do. You're take welcome. care. All right. All right. Bye-bye. Bye. Bye. Uh, okay, stop. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, thank you. I'm like, what are these buttons do? <laughs> anyway, thank you. take care. Take care, you too. Bye. Hey guys, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to subscribe here at Fino Boxing, like this video, and leave your comments down below. And follow us at all our social media platforms at Fino Boxing, and my personal one is at Adriana underscore sports.